Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Welcome. How are you? Fine, teacher. Um, I could be better, but <laughs> the point is good. <laughs> uh, a teacher, little bit drier. Uh, yeah, yeah. The the most important thing is we are going to be no. How can I say? I going to have two days off. Ah yes, you work in a bank, right? You told me last time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and wow. it's in marketing, so I don't work on Saturdays and Sundays too. Awesome! Very nice. So you have free. So now you're going to have almost a week vacation. Yeah. Of course, in the in the goal, it's obviously bad, but yeah, it's not, it's not good because you're gonna miss some clients, right? Yeah, exactly. But in order to be happy, it's okay. Well, that's okay. It's a lucky situation because we're going to to be uh two days off from tomorrow. It's like like good for us. Yeah, because I don't have so much time because I um leave the work at six p six p.m. and then I'm I am arrived to my home at maybe seven thirty, so I don't have so much time. And then the Saturdays I have classes too, so yeah. You you got classes on Saturday? Yeah, um, on have a script. Ah. Uh. Okay, okay, very nice, very nice. Yeah. That's awesome. That, so that's good. Yeah, <laughs> it's something different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's nice. Uh, Peter, uh, um, something that I want to uh, talk to you, it's because in the first hour of the class, I'm going to be a listener, and then through the night, to the end, uh, I'm going to participate in the class. Okay, okay. Uh, after 9 p.m. 9 p.m., yes. Okay, just let me know when you're ready. Okay, thank you. Okay, awesome.
Okay, students, good evening. Welcome to the class. Okay, students, welcome, good evening. How are you today? Good evening, Yvette. How are you? Um, Okay, a little bit tired? Uh, yes, a little. Awesome, very nice. What about you, Aminda, how are you? Uh, hello, teacher, fine, I am fine. Awesome. Very nice. Perfect. Okay. Are you going to have free two days from tomorrow? No? <laughs> uh, same exactly. for my for 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 work? Yes. Yeah? But I had to uh, another work because uh, I uh, I learned in or oh, I am teacher in the in the Don Bosco University. Ah, you're a teacher and then a boss. Okay, awesome. So, but yeah, but the thing is like uh, the deputies here, they assign 16 as a day off for education yeah. too. I guess so you're because going to have the, free. The, yeah, because the, how do you say? No, no it's not holiday, it's different. No, ho holiday. Ho holiday is, um, well, Holidays is like the vacations that are assigned directly in our country, right? That's us. Yeah. But in this case, it's an exception for this year. Ah, okay. Uh huh. Yeah. So you're going to have tomorrow and on Friday. Um, Friday, yes. Ah, Go good. Ahead. Awesome. Two days free. Two days off. Awesome. Very okay. good. Okay, Domingo. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, the teacher. How are oh, you today? Twice. Twice. One day is regular. Very nice. And uh, and a complete. Is happy for two days. <laughs> the vacation. Okay. Very nice. Excellent. Okay. Um. Uh, what about uh, Adela? How are you today? I'm fine. Fine? 
Yeah. Ready for the class? Ah, very nice. Awesome. Better in the, than the two days before. I'm really nice today. Okay. Okay, very nice. Um, we're going to start a class. I think uh we're going to have just three students active during this moment. But later on, we're going to get uh, the rest of the class connected. Um, as soon as you listen to your name, please tell me present, okay? Okay. Adela Trinidad Gonzalez Consuera. Present. Very nice. Aminda René Figueroa Manzano, de Manzano. Present. Okay. Belen Batres, present, yes, yeah, you told me. Carlos William Membreño, you told me you're driving, I guess. Right? Yes. yes. Okay. Debbie, you told, you told, ah, yeah. Domingo Alexander Gonzalez. Present. Okay. Ever de Jesus Candray Montano. Jose Roberto Martinez Bernabe. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera. Rosemary Ventura de Arguello. Rosibel del Carmen López. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Sonia Iveta Alvarenga. Present. Ok. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemus. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Wendy Karina Morales Amaya. Ok, I think we have just, yeah, Walter here, yes. Okay, very nice. So we're going to start today with the class. Yes. Oscar Viatoro later as present. Oscar? Later the present. Later. Late for present, okay. Okay, awesome, very nice. Okay, very good students. So today we're going to have uh, um, the class already. We're going to uh, work with some uh, specific topic. Um, do you remember, uh, well, I think, yes, Domingo, you were working yesterday with a group, right? Yes, you were working with, with Debbie, I guess, yesterday. Yeah, right? Who do you work with yesterday, Domingo? ¿Con quién trabajó ayer? I'm sorry, you know. I don't remember. Okay, you don't remember. Okay, very nice. Okay, so today we're gonna have, uh, yes, um, a review about the class, because I think there are so many students that uh, were working yesterday in the group that are missing. So we're going to start right now uh, with the topic. Um, it's really important to remember that uh, there are some topics that we have still waiting to be explained. Um, the last time we were working with conditionals, do you remember the zero conditional when we talk about something there is, um, it's a possibility to happen, right? We we were talking about something that uh, could happen uh, if we do something. So a, a main clause and the result, right? So uh, today we're going to try to work with the first conditional. So the last time we worked with zero conditional. So today we're going to work with first conditional. 
The first conditional is another topic, but in the case of first conditional, we're talking about future, right? And the zero conditional talks about present situation. So if you do this, this happened. The first conditional is the one that we talk about a future result, okay? So we're going to work with this. Uh, right now, I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you a presentation about uh, first condition, but just give me a second. I'm gonna move this, I'm going to bring something. Give me a second, give me a second. Okay, ready. So uh, today we're gonna start with the first conditional because it's a topic that's going to be essential for you. Uh, let me know if you can watch the screen. Yeah, right. Yes. Okay, very nice. We're going to talk about uh, the topic, first conditional. As I told at the beginning, we have four conditionals, the zero and the first conditional. What happened with this is that we have some difference in usage about conditionals. Each of them has uh, a different way or different method in order, in order to use as a tense. In the, in the case of uh, the topic conditional, we always going to have the, the same situation at, at, the, at the one we explained before. We're going to have a main clause with the if and the result is something that we're going to have always, okay? So you have to be careful with this. Um, we have this, um, we're going to start. Ah, can you help me to read this, Aminda? Okay. Whereas the zero conditional talk about real present situations, the first conditional talks about real future possibilities. Okay, very nice. That's the difference. Uh, this word talks, talks. Okay, talks. Okay, whereas the zero condition talks about real present situations. Okay, the zero condition, as I told you, right? The zero condition to talk about real present situations, right? El, el zero condicional habla de cosas reales, situaciones reales en presente, ¿verdad? Como decir, por ejemplo, eh, si yo eh, juego fútbol, ahorita, ¿verdad? Me golpeo o me canso, o no sé, lo que usted quiera. Si como pupusas, eh, me pega dolor de estómago. Situation, real situation. Now, let's go to first conditional. First conditional says, talks about real but future, okay? Real but future possibilities. So, this is the difference. Both talk about real things. The zero and the first talks about real things. And um, in some cases in the future, it can be possibilities, right? Because it's something that we think that it's going to happen, but maybe it can change in the, uh, in the future, right? But it's about real future situations or real future possibilities, okay? Very nice. Let's go with the next part. Uh, here we have, um, 
I don't know, Domingo, if you can help me to read this first part. This one. Uh, is the weather is nice. We will we, we will go for a one a walk. Okay. It says if the weather is nice, we will go for a walk. Okay. If the weather is nice, so it's talking about the first part. Si el tiempo está bien. Okay. Pero luego veamos el, el, el result. We will go for a walk. Okay, si el tiempo está bien, iremos, ¿verdad? A caminar, right? Okay, so it's a possibility, okay? Future possibility. But what does this sentence stand for? ¿O por, de qué depende esta oración? De que el tiempo esté bien, ¿verdad? Good. De, okay. Okay. okay, very nice. Que el tiempo esté good, ¿verdad? que el tiempo esté bien. Entonces, eh, esto depende de una situación en presente para que pueda tener frutos en el futuro. Y ahora es acá. Si ustedes recuerdan, el zero conditional tenía dos situaciones, ¿verdad? Tenía el presente y presente simple, ¿verdad? Ambas. Ahora, en esta oración tenemos una oración con present y otra oración con future. Porque miren, si ustedes se fijan acá, bird to be. Ok, talking about bird to be in a present way. If the weather is nice. Si el tiempo está bien. Si el, el tiempo está perfecto. O si, el, o si el clima está perfecto. We will go for a walk. Nosotros iremos a dar un paseo. Ok, very nice. That's good. Let's go with the next one. Uh, Aminda, can you help me to read the next one? Yes. If you don't apologize, she will never trust you again. Okay. If you don't apologize, she will never trust you again. Si usted, ¿verdad? O si tú, o si vos, como ustedes lo quieran traducir, no te disculpas, right? O no pides perdón. Ella no volverá o nunca volverá, ¿verdad? A confiar en ti nuevamente. So, it's a present situation. If you don't apologize. O sea, si no hace esto, right? Esto es lo que pasará. She will, ne she will never trust you again. It's a future possibility. Okay, so... It's easy. It's like the zero conditional. It's easy. You have to use a cause and effect. Cause and effect. Okay. And or the cause and a result is the way you want to talk about. Okay. Let's go with the next part. Uh, here we have. Okay. We have an if clause, right? An if clause. The if clause is the one that's going to be with this. If, if, if. Okay. The if clause is the present simple text. Okay. In the if clause. Yeah. And the main clause, which is the result, is going to be future simple. So it means that you can have will, or maybe you can have are going to. Okay, be going to, because it's another way to talk about future, right? So you can use a, a will, or you can use be going to. Do you remember be going to for future? You're going to eat tomorrow. You're going to play next month. You're going to study next week. You're going to buy a car next month, etc. right? So this is the structure they want to uh, follow. Okay, then we have the I uh, word unless. Repeat unless. Unless. Unless is the same meaning as, as if not. So it's another way to say if not in this case. It's also a possibility. 
Okay, if, when we use unless, it's another way to say if not. Okay. <clears throat> In other words, es como decir, ¿verdad? Si no. O sea que el unless es una forma de decir si no. Okay. Let's go with the next part. Here we have some examples. Unless the weather is nice, we wouldn't go for a walk. Unless you apologize, she'll never trust you again. Unless the weather is nice. Okay, si el tiempo no está. Okay. Si no está, ¿verdad? El tiempo bien, o si el tiempo no está bien. Okay. Y es una forma de decir if unless is a way to say if not, ¿verdad? Si el tiempo no está bien, no iremos a dar a caminadita, ¿verdad? No iremos a caminar. Okay, unless change the meaning, right? But let's go for the next one. Unless you apologize. Si no te disculpas, ella no volverá a confiar en ti. Okay, unless. So unless is another way to say if not. Question, Santi here? No? Is everything clear? Okay. Let's go with the next part. So we have the next part here. First conditional real future possibilities. So we're going to talk with first conditional for real possibilities, right? Okay, here we have, for example, the short. Okay, uh, Domingo, can you please help me to read this condition? A condition where it is some something or crying tomorrow. Okay. Whether it's sunny or rainy tomorrow. Okay. Ya sea que esté soleado ¿verdad? o que esté lloviendo mañana. Right. We'll go to the beach or to the movies. The result. Iremos a la, a la playa o al cine, right? Okay. So, this is the way that I want you to focus it. today and tomorrow. So the conditional is a way to talk about today, tomorrow, right? For example, if it's sunny, we'll go to the beach. Look at, if it's sunny, we'll go to the beach. If it rains, we won't go to the beach. We'll go to the movies. So look, these are ways to talk about. Veamos esta forma de hablar, right? Okay, si está soleado, iremos a la playa. Ok, pero debe estar soleado para que podamos ir a la playa. Veamos la siguiente. Si llueve, no iremos a la playa. Iremos a las películas, ¿verdad? O iremos al cine. Entonces, para poder formar estas oraciones, si no, to create these sentences, yo tengo que recordar bien lo que les mencioné de la vez pasada. Necesito dominar bien el present simple. Right? And the verb to be in present. ¿Por qué? Porque en el zero and first condition, and first condition, we're going to talk about those things. And then we have the next ones that is going to be future, right? Future things. Remember, want is a way to say will not. El want es una forma contractada de decir will not, ¿verdad? Okay, do you have an equation? Clear like Rosata? Okay. Uh, Domingo, can you help me to read this one? Uh, we can also re reverse the order of the condition uh, um, result in the sentence, um, 
with no chance in the main. Okay, we can also reverse the order of the condition and result in the sentence with no change in meaning. Okay, so it means that we can change from positions the sentences. I can make a change. Okay, and the meaning is going to be the same. Let's watch the first sample. We'll go to the beach if it's sunny tomorrow. We'll go to the movie if it rains tomorrow. So I can say it in a different way. If it's sunny tomorrow, we'll go to the beach. So I can use them in uh, two different ways. For example, in the first part, we have, we're going to start the sentence with the result, right? We'll go to the beach. And then we have the if, if it's rain, tomorrow but we can start with at the same time if it's sunny tomorrow we or we'll go to the beach so i can change the position of the sentences it's, uh, it's not going to be a problem the mean is going to be the same okay let's go with the next part we'll go to the movies if it rains tomorrow i can start a sentence in a different way if it rains tomorrow, we'll go to the movies. Okay, so it means that I can have both of them in different ways, okay? Just change the position and everything is going to be the same. Questions? No, okay, very nice. Domingo, everything is clear? Okay, uh, here we have this next part. It's going to, okay, Rosibel, good evening. Can you help me to read this part? Okay, very nice. Can you help me to read this? Sure. Okay. As long as or providing that mean, but only if compare. They're susceptible, but only if they try hard. They susceptible as only as they try hard. Awesome, very nice. So with this first conditional, here we have some possibilities. As long as or providing that mean, but only if it's like to compare, right? As long as I'm providing, nos dan un significado como decir solamente si, ¿verdad? O si hacen esto. Por ejemplo, they'll succeed but only if they try hard. Ellos tendrán éxito solamente si se esfuerzan bastante, ¿verdad? Ok. Ellos van a tener éxito, pero, ¿verdad? O si logran aplicarse bastante. O sea que el but only en Slonas puede significar pero sí, ¿verdad? O solamente sí puede ser el significado de ambas. Okay, then we have the next one, as soon as. Okay, this as soon as is to emphasize immediacy. Okay, the situation is very urgent. I'll call you as soon as I have more information. I'll call you as soon as I have more information. Okay, te llamaré al no más que tenga ¿verdad? más información. Al no más tenga más información. Entonces, so it's something urgent. So you need information. You are trying to get that information. Okay, so it means that these are some aspects that I can use in this way too. No questions? Yeah, Sonia? As soon as meaning uh, as a... Hmm? Hola. Sonia. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, as soon as is the same, the same uh, with ASAP. Uh, ASAP is another way to say as soon as possible. Uh -huh. So 
That's why it says ASAP, as soon as possible. ASAP. Okay. It's like, for example, okay, um, if I tell you, okay, Sonia, call me as soon as possible. It's another way to say, okay, Sonia, call me ASAP. Okay, but I need possible in here, as soon as possible. But when I use just as soon as, I cannot have like this uh, abbreviation. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, very nice, excellent. Questions? No? Everything is clear like water? Teacher, in the example, as long as, or providing that, in the first uh, line, I confuse because no using provide, providing that, use, but only if. Is three three option or, or only two? Yeah, you no. can have whatever uh, you want as long as providing, um, but okay. only if. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank okay. You. Okay. Very nice. Let's go with the next part. Okay. Okay, it's time to practice. So we're going to have a practice right now. Okay, I'm going to present a sentence and you're going to uh, be in charge of getting them, okay? Okay, now it says now choose the correct option of each verb, okay? Which one is the correct? Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a shower as soon as I get or I will get home from the gym. Mm -hmm. Will I get think home from the gym. You think is? I think is. I think is. As I get. As I get. Okay. Yes. As I get. The same for me, but I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, Domingo says we'll get, right? Okay. Very nice. The rest I get. What about the rest? I get. I get. Okay. Remember, you need to remember two things. A condition is stated but two sentences, right? The present statement and the future statement, okay? And of course, remember that we can have a present statement inverted, first the condition, the result, or maybe then the result and then the condition. So we can have change. Okay, let's check. Get, right, very nice. I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to, future statement. Be going to, right, take. ¿Se recuerdan que les dije que podíamos utilizar ya sea will o be going to, verdad? Okay, entonces aquí tenemos, miren, I'm going to take a shower. Me daré un baño, okay, as soon as I get home from the gym. Entonces aquí ya tenemos la siguiente oración que está en presente simple, ¿verdad? In order to give us the reason. Let's go with the next one.
Teacher, a ver si entendí. Una es en futuro y la otra es en presente. Uh -huh. Ok. Yes. Ok. Thank you. Very nice. Let's go with the second one. Unless I find my watch, I have to buy a new one. A new one. Uh -huh. A new one. New one. Okay, very nice. Let's check. What about the rest? Rosibel says, unless. I agree with Rosibel. Okay, very nice. Awesome. Okay. What about the rest? What do you think about? Unless I feel. Unless I find. My, unless I find my what? Mm -hmm. I, 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 I have to buy. I'll have to buy a new one. Okay, very nice. Let's check. Unless I find my watch, I'll have to buy a new one. Unless I find. Una vez, ¿verdad? Que, perdón, si no encuentro mi cartera, ¿verdad? mi reloj, perdón, mi cartera, digo, my watch, mi, mi reloj, tendré que comprar una nueva, ¿verdad? Ok, si no encuentro mi reloj, tendré que comprar uno nuevo. Ok, very nice. Entonces, acá tenemos, miren, present statement, future statement. Ok, there's no way in order to get lost. Let's go with the next one. Mm -hmm. I think I think it's it isn't okay, but the, the whole sentence okay. If the savagery surgery surgery is the surgery isn't she said so far i have just six, six months to live to live i live pardon yeah y la otra es successful uh, successful 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 uh, yes it's a little bit complicated right yeah successful Subset for. Okay, el adverbio es successfully. Ah, successfully, <laughs> okay. Okay, very nice. Okay, let's go. I agree. El... Oh, you agree? Me. Okay, yeah. very nice, awesome. Se han puesto de acuerdo ustedes dos. Okay. Ahí en el chat le ponen, mira, hoy le toca a usted y yo voy a estar de acuerdo con usted. Hoy le toca a usted y yo. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Okay, very nice. What about the rest? Is um, a or have. Okay, very nice. Okay, let's check. If the surgery isn't successful, he'll have just six months to leave. Okay, si sí, verdad la cirugía o la operación como nosotros decimos. No es exitosa. Ok, successful, no es exitosa. Él solo tendrá seis meses de vida. ¿verdad? Ok, o seis meses para poder disfrutar de sus últimos momentos. Right? Ok. So, pero eso es una posibilidad futura. 
¿Por qué? Porque esto nos sirve para hablar algo que en realidad puede pasar o algo que es una probabilidad. ¿Por qué? Porque todo depende de cómo sea la cirugía, ¿verdad? O sea, si la, si la cirugía es exitosa, entonces sí va a poder vivir más de seis meses. Pero si no lo es, ¿verdad? entonces ahí sí, solamente son seis meses más de vida que le quedan, ¿verdad? Ok, very nice. Let's go with the next one. I you think have... it's you uh -huh, you have a great time. <laughs> <laughs> ya, ya ven, ya ven. Hoy, hoy sí nos pusieron de acuerdo al mismo tiempo la dijeron. <laughs> Hasta en coro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Ajá, entonces sería, pero ¿cómo sería toda la oración? Aminda. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you'll have a great time if you go to Rio. Okay. What about the rest one? Los demás? Hello, teacher. I'm back. Okay. Very nice. Igual. Ok, awesome, very nice. Ok. Cuando ya nosotros acá entonces tenemos la oración, ¿verdad? Ah, vamos, aquí está lo que mencionamos. Podemos invertir las posiciones. ¿verdad? Podemos pasar de primero la que es la condicional, ¿verdad? Y luego el, el main class. O podemos pasar el main class el level, y luego el condicional. Y aquí tenemos, por ejemplo, you'll have a great time If you got real. Ok, ahora, si ustedes ven, ¿cuál es la diferencia en que la oración de la if, verdad? O la oración que lleva el condicional, vaya en medio o vaya al inicio. ¿Qué lleva de diferente? Sí, ahí pueden analizar ustedes, porque ahí están. Uh -huh. In this case, the conditional and the result of the conditional is talk about to the possibilities on the future time. Yeah. The both. The both, yes. Okay. But but what is the difference uh, about this statement? ¿Cuál es la diferencia de esta oración número cuatro? Donde tenemos primero el result, ¿verdad? Y luego tenemos la condición. ¿Cuál es la diferencia en las otras? Que primero hemos tenido la condición y de último el resultado. ¿Cuál es la, ¿Qué es lo que ustedes le ven de diferente? Fíjense bien en esas oraciones. The verb. The verb. Because, because in the sentences uh, four, uh, we use the verb in the future, will. In the previous, in the previous sentences, uh, we use the verb to be. Okay. Oh no! The teacher, teacher. Sorry, okay. a question. The correct answer is is sorry. You will you will have you have a great time if you go to Rio. Okay. What is the correct answer? I'm sorry. Is Is that what you said, but the teacher is say what is the difference? Yeah, the, it, that, that's the one. The that's the one. Same. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. The wheel, the, o sea, if I use the wheel twice. That is a okay. question. Okay, la pregunta yeah. es, si yo uso el condicional al inicio, okay, esta es la oración yeah. con condicional, ¿verdad? Al inicio. Yeah. Miren. Okay. ¿Qué es lo que... Eh, bueno, aquí la tengo en medio y acá también. Ok, en estas dos las tengo al inicio. Miren, al inicio y en estas dos las tengo en medio. 
¿Qué es la diferencia que ustedes ven en, entre estas oraciones, que van las que, cuál es el condicional va en medio, a las que, en la que el condicional va al inicio? ¿Qué, ¿Qué es lo que llevan de diferente? Hay una cosita que llevan diferente. Separados por los comas. Ah, very nice, Domingo. Awesome, very nice. La diferencia es que al cambiar la deposición, tenemos que nosotros eh, tener en mente esto. Cuando llevamos el condicional en medio, o sea, el condicional que va de último, ¿verdad? Termin Cierra la oración. Ya no ocupamos una coma porque el condicional nos sirve como conector, como enlace para las dos oraciones, ¿verdad? Tanto para esta como esta. Miren, tanto para esta como para esta. Pero cuando el condicional la llevo eh, a inicio, yo tengo que poner acá una coma para indicar que esta que está, está aquí es la condición. Y que la que viene después de la coma es el resultado. Entonces, yo pongo la coma por lo que necesito hacer una pausa, ¿verdad? Para que la gente logre identificar cuál es la relación de de la condición y cuál es el resultado. Y tengo que poner la coma porque gramaticalmente necesito separar, ¿verdad? Dos oraciones y los tengo que hacer por una coma a través de una pequeña pausa. So in the in the case of the four is because mm -hmm. it's one sentence. No, there are two sentences. Mm. Yes, ¿por qué? Miren, la primera dice You have a great time. Hasta aquí está la primera oración. You have a great, great time. Tú tendrás un gran momento. ¿verdad? Tú disfrutarás de un gran momento. Y aquí viene la otra oración. If uh, you go uh, to Rio. Esta, esta no, uh, ¿verdad? Esta no. Solo aquí dice, uh, if, you, if you go to Rio. Entonces tenemos dos oraciones. Ok, very nice. Hoy sí, claritos como el agua. O, o como el chocolate. Clear, teacher. <laughs> Clear like water. Clear like water. Ok, very nice. Okay. Clear como las vacaciones, ¿verdad? <laughs> yes. Clear como el decreto. <laughs> ah, eso sí está clarito. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, yes. <laughs> okay, totally agree. With it. <laughs> okay. Vamos con la siguiente. Veamos. We'll be disappointed if nobody comes to our party on Friday. Awesome, very nice, very nice. The rest? Oh, it's okay for me. Ah, it's okay. Okay. The rest, do you have something different or the same? The same teacher. The same, very nice, let's check. We'll be disappointed if nobody comes to our party on the on Friday. Okay, very nice. Here we have the connector, right? If nobody comes, very nice, good. Let's go with the next. If you forget your wife's birthday next week, she will be upset. Okay, very nice. The same? The same teacher. Okay. ¿Cuál sería la traducción de esa oración? Si olvidas el cumpleaños de tu esposa la siguiente semana, se va a poner furiosa. <laughs> no. Ahí no dice furiosa. What, what's meaning <laughs> upset? What's meaning Ahí upset? Ahí dice que va a estar decepcionada. Dice la oración que va a estar decepcionada. 
Ah, pero, upset es decepcionada. Sí, pero, ah, okay. pero, pero sabemos que no, ya de aquí Belén ya dijo <ríe> que va. <ríe> y no va a ser solamente furiosa, <ríe> sino que se viene el fin del mundo. Sí. ¿Eh? Va a ser el fin del mundo si se olvida el cumpleaños de su esposa. Aquí no, ¿verdad? Yo sé que ustedes se olvidaron el cumpleaños de ustedes, no, ustedes calmaditas, ustedes respirarían, meditarían, ¿verdad? Yo sé que ustedes no. En otros casos, ¿verdad? <risa> <risa> oh, ok, very nice. Y casualmente yeah. esta oración rapidito la adivinaron, ¿verdad? <risa> okay. Yo acabo de venir, dicho, no sé de qué hablo. Ya. Yeah. <risa> Yo pasando iba, digo usted. <ríe> ok, very nice. Vamos con la siguiente. I give him the documents. I'll give when I give. I give. I give. I give. Okay. This one. The first option, yes. Okay. In my in my opinion, but okay. I knew short. Okay, very nice. And so on the next one seria, I'll see. I'll see, yes. Okay. What about the rest? I think it's the opposite. Okay, is so it's going to be. Yeah, yeah. And then I, I see. Yes. Okay. So for me, it's okay. Sorry, I mean. Okay, is the one that you received? No problem, Rosemary. Rosibel. No, yo creo que le dijeron. Eh, en esta no nos pongamos de acuerdo para que el teacher no nos moleste. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, very nice. So um here I'm going to check. I'll yes. give him the documents when. So when is the connector? When is the if? When is the condition? I'll give him the documents when I see him later today. Okay? Yo le daré los documentos cuando lo vea. En un momento, ¿verdad? Ok, very nice. The last one. Teacher. Yeah. Uh, when I get uh, married, okay. I am going to have a simple. Wedding. Okay. okay. Okay, Leticia. Wedding. Simple wedding. Wedding. Okay, wedding. 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 Okay. Ajá, está pensando en casarse porque rápido la, la quiso hacer. ¿verdad? Yo pensé que tenía una pregunta de las siete, Fid. <laughs> oh, okay, very nice. Very nice. When I get married, I'm going to have a simple wedding. Okay. Very nice. Vamos a ver el resto. What do you think? Agree. Agree? Yeah. Okay. The rest? The same. The same? Okay. Yeah. The same. Awesome. Very nice. Awesome. Okay. So, let's check. When I get married, I'm going to have a simple wedding. Okay. Very nice. When I get. Una cosa muy importante que debemos recordar. Siempre la condición va a llevar ya sea un if, un unless, unas unas, un when. Ok. Y recordemos que, al, que junto con esa oración que lleve cualquiera de esos, el tiempo el que vamos a llevar cuando estemos hablando del primer condicional, ¿verdad? No, no estoy hablando de los demás, sino en este caso del primer condicional. Tiene que llevar una oración con presente simple. Ahí está la clave para que podamos dominar. La que siempre que llevemos una, un conector ¿verdad? o un condicional de esos, vamos a tener una oración con el presente simple. Y por ende, la próxima vendrá en future. Future. 
Simple, future simple, right? Okay, no questions? No, teacher. Okay, let's go for a summary. Okay, vamos a ver el summary. Vamos a ver si me ayuda a leer eh, esta parte. Uh, Belen, can you help me to read this one? Yes. Uh, summary, read conditionals. Conditionals are a sentence in which one thing depends on another. Use the zero conditional for things that happen rarely in daily life. If you freeze water, it turns to ice. Both verbs are in present simple. Okay, very nice. Aquí tenemos, ¿verdad? Un summary. Conditionals are sentences in which one thing depends on another. Aquí tenemos que nosotros tener en cuenta algo. Que cuando estamos hablando de condicionales, son oraciones que dependen una de otra. Okay. Una de otra. Y con el zero conditional, we talk as for things that rarely happen in daily life. Son cosas que pasan, ¿verdad? En la vida diaria. O sea, algo que no necesita ser comprobado, ¿verdad? Sino que pasa. Y aquí tenemos una, una oración, por ejemplo, dice, If you freeze water, it turns to ice. Aquí tenemos zero conditional, ¿verdad? En el zero conditional llevamos presente simple, presente simple, ¿verdad? ¿Se recuerdan que lo expliqué? Ok, y acá dice, miren, si ustedes congelan el agua, freeze water, ustedes congelan el agua, se convierte en hielo. No necesita ser comprobado porque es una realidad. ¿Verdad? O no sé aquí que venga alguien y me diga, no, que cuando lo, eh, congelo el agua se convierte o se mantiene líquido, no sé, ¿verdad? No, ¿verdad? Ok, no necesita prueba. Es algo que es real, pasa. Entonces, aquí tenemos present simple in both sentences. Ok. The word if implies the situation happens less frequently. Cuando utilizamos el if, Implica que la situación pasa, pero con un poco más de frecuencia. ¿verdad? O sea que sí pasa, pero es con menos frecuencia. O sea, quiere decir que pocos casos se da cuando usted usa el if. Cuando usted usa el when, implica que algo es más frecuente. It's more frequently. Let's take the examples. Ok, vamos a ver si me ayuda a leer este example. Uh, Aminda. Ok. The word if implies that a situation happens less frequent, frequently. Fre frequently. Frequently. And the word when implies it happens more frequently. Okay, very frequently. nice. Frequently. Frequently. Frequent. Quen. Quenly. Frequently. 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 Okay, very nice. Okay. Lo que les estaba explicando, ¿verdad? Cuando utilizamos la palabra if, Implica que pasa con menos frecuencia. O sea, sí pasa, pero es porque quizás lo rara vez lo hace. Cuando usted utiliza el when es para dar una indicación fuerte de que usted, si ya, cuando usted hace eso, eso le sucede. Ok, ahora veamos la siguiente parte del summary. Use the first conditional. Uh, Rosibel, can you help me to read this one? Sure. Ok. Use. Use the first conditional for things that are real possibilities in the future. If it is sunny tomorrow, then we'll go to the beach. Although both events are technically in the future, we use the present simple in the conditions and we're going to in the resort. Okay. Aquí está una parte muy importante. Use the first conditional for things that are real possibilities in the future. Hay que utilizar el primer conditional. Okay, no olvidemos. Zero conditional, first conditionals. Son dos muy diferentes, ¿verdad? Cuando hablamos del first condition, del zero conditional, perdón, hablamos de cosas que pasan realmente en presente. When we talk first conditional, we talk about Future, future possibilities, ¿ok? De esa manera miramos esas dos, ¿verdad? 
las dos hablan de cosas que son reales, pero una habla de algo que pasa en presente y otra de lo que pasará en futuro. Y en una pequeña porción que puede ser posibilidad, ¿verdad? Ok. Y acá tenemos, miren, if it's sunny tomorrow, then we'll go to the beach. Si está soleado mañana, entonces nos vamos para la playa. Ok, es una posibilidad. Porque si no está soleado mañana, no lo iremos. ¿verdad? Entonces, eso es lo que me está diciendo, right? Que si no está soleado, prácticamente no vamos a ir. Entonces, yo necesito que esté soleado para poder ir a la playa. Ok, y acá es donde ya empezamos, que llevamos presente simple en la primera oración, que es esta, if it's sunny tomorrow. Y luego podemos llevar ya sea will o ya sea going to, ¿verdad? El be going to. Ok. Y aquí podemos, ¿verdad? Lo que teníamos hace un momento. Vamos a ver si me ayuda a leer esta parte, Leticia. Yes, teacher. Ok. You can, you can use when instant of if when the condition will definitely happen in the future. Ok. You can use when instead of if. When the condition will definitely, definitely, repeat, definitely, 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 de este primer I como que si fuera casi E, definitely, definitely, ok, happen in the future, ok. Y aquí dice que podemos utilizar when en vez de, instead of, mean en vez de, ¿verdad? Ok, ustedes pueden utilizar when en vez de if. Cuando la condición con seguridad pasará en el futuro. O sea que, digamos que, por ejemplo, ustedes en el trabajo. Digamos que Aminda fue compañera de Rosibel desde, las, desde la parvularia hasta el bachillerato, un ejemplo. Ok, ya hoy cada quien trabaja en su empresa y viene Rosibel, a, estaba trabajando en el extranjero, a Minda, a Minda también y vinieron de vacaciones. Viene Rosibel y le dice, ok, a Minda, vamos a la playa. Ah, pero viene Rosibel, ay, cuando voy a la playa, me pasa esto. Ahí no le está diciendo que es una probabilidad, sino que le está diciendo que es algo que en realidad pasa cuando lleva. Y ella puede decir, no, que cuando voy a la playa, después ando botando el pellejo, después ando ahí que no sé qué, que después que no, no sé ni qué aplicarme en la piel porque no me puedo ni poner una camisa que sea un poquito áspera. Ok, entonces viene y dice, no, vamos a otro lado. Ok, cuando usted utiliza el when es porque usted da seguridad de que algo pasa directamente. Y con el if lleva una pequeña probabilidad, ¿verdad? Ok. Tenemos a Sunas. Vamos a ver acá si me ayuda a leer a Sunas. Adela. Use as soon as, as soon as to emphasize that the result would immediately follow the condition. Use as soon as to emphasize that the result will immediately, immediately, repeat, immediately. 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 Ok. Y acá dice, ¿verdad? Que hay que eh, utilizar as soon as para dar énfasis que el resultado va a ir inmediatamente después de la condición. O sea, que es algo que pasa de inmediato, no va no al tiempo, ¿verdad? Que eso, que eso lleva eh, algo de prisa, right? Ok, y acá tenemos la otra. Utilizar unless in place of if not, ¿verdad? Cuando utilizamos unless, lo que hacemos es que estamos reemplazando la otra forma de decir si no, ¿verdad? ¿ok? Como decíamos eh, la oración anterior, ¿verdad? Podemos utilizar unless para poder decir, si no haces esto, unless you study for the test, you won't pass it. ¿Verdad? Si no estudias para el examen, no lo pasarás, ¿verdad? Yes, Yvette. Please remember me. What meaning 
instead. Ah, instead, instead of. Instead of. Okay, instead of mean in best day. Yeah. Instead of. Okay. Instead of. Si, sí, cuando usted dice you can use when instead of, uh, usted puede utilizar when en vez del if. Instead of. Okay. Y luego tenemos la que habíamos visto, as long as, or providing that, para hacer, eh, enfatizar que en la condición lleva un significado de solamente sí, ¿verdad? Pero sí se hace esto. Y podemos utilizar también but only if, ¿verdad? directamente. Ok, no questions. No. Teacher, es el cuadro anterior. Teams. Correct. Okay. Okay. Just. <laughs> Belén está peleando con el con el Michi. <laughs> okay. Sí, Domingo. Yes. Okay. Ah, le iba ah, a uh, well, Yes, uh, try, uh, I'm sorry. The, the question is, um, this Ese. condition is para ambas uh, zero condition y first condition. Uh, uh, sí. Para ambas. Ok. Ok, very nice. Awesome, very good. Okay, serious. No questions? I got my computer is going to. I have to connect it. Give me a second. Ah, okay. Okay, very nice. So, no question? Okay, right now we're going to have the time in order to create a conversation right now because we're going to present in the class because it's, we still have time. So today I'm going to give you more time because the last time I pushed you to work in pairs, just uh, missing like 15 minutes and we couldn't present the conversation. La última vez los puse a trabajar 15 minutos para terminar la clase y por eso no pudieron hacer la, la presentación de la conversation, ¿verdad? Ahora vamos a crear una pero en la cual, okay, we're going to talk about uh, whatever we want, okay? I want to create a conversation. I want you to be created. Y vamos a tratar de utilizar tanto el zero conditional como el first conditional. O sea, no es que solo con ellos vamos a hablar, claro que no, ¿verdad? Pero you have to use it in the conversation. Va, tenemos que mezclarlos en la conversation. Y eh, si podemos mezclar los temas que hemos visto about the business situations about talking channel direct channel or no whatever you want to talk about because you can talk about like a project a business they want to improve you want to create it's up to you if you want to talk about different things like a, a trip that you have or your goal you will have in your future it's up to you okay is it clear oh okay very nice um let me let me right now check um okay domingo is ready verdad sonia is connected leticia too adela too oh. right teacher okay uh walter no belen yes right yes teacher okay Adela and Letty, yes, right. Yes, Sonia? Uh, yes. I, don't, I don't find my way to the house. Uh, I can uh, write right now for the, the bus. You, you, are, you are driving or you're in, in your bus? Yes. Yes. 
Okay, very nice. Letty, you ready? When I uh, I arrive to house, uh, I'm going to connect in, in the, the laptop. Okay, very nice, excellent. Carlos, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Teacher, I'm yes. sorry, I have a question. Yeah, yeah, tell me. What I supposed to be ready for? <laughs> no, I no when when I tell them ready is because to let them know if you are active in order to. Ah, okay. Yeah, because I'm trying to organize in the groups in order to ah, put okay. uh, students that are uh, participating. Okay. Check right now. Okay, there we go. Ay, de la Trini. Okay. Okay. Then I I write my my topic and share with you, or we improve the topic and talk. I understood. I understood the it isn't a one conversation or uh, uh, any topic, but we need apply to a uh, the zero condition and the spare conditionals. In our conversation, I think we need to write sentence by sentence for explaining or in the in the group. Teacher. Yes. Is correct that that I say or explain to Carlos? Yeah, you you have to uh, create a conversation, and you are free to choose a topic. Okay, you are mm -hmm. free to choose a topic. But you need to uh, take in the conversation using a zero condition or first condition. Okay, so you you have to include them in the conversation. But at the end, we we uh, we show the re the rest of the group or only uh, Carlos and and I. Uh, yes, because when we get uh, together with the whole group, you're going to uh, present the conversation. Okay, 
Okay. okay. It's up to you if you want to share the screen or if you just want to be speaking. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Vaya, Carlos. Entonces, este, si quiere, voy a compartir porque creo que se me hace más fácil compartir en mí, ¿verdad? Yeah. Uh -huh. Voy a compartir entonces. Pero borro voy a seguir. Bye. Carlos, tell me um, in which topic do you like uh, talk or speak? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> What do you you want to talk about? What? Uh, oh, maybe um maybe can be a talk about the do you like eh? Okay, if more do you like okay, okay. The person B. Person B, what kind of movie do you like? I don't like the movie. I must say. Sorry. Um, you can say, I don't like the movies or I prefer the series. I don't like the movie. Oh. At all, but you can agree that at all because maybe you like some movies, but it's not what you okay. prefer. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, no, no. Todo está bien. Solo le vas a agregar at all al final. Ah, para mí. Mm -hmm. I don't like the movie. Ah. Uh, eh, ¿Cómo se escribe? How do you spell it? Eight, eight, a T space. A O A L L. I see. Uh huh. Are all the. And I y ahí le escribes borralde. I prefer the series. Okay. O sea, coma. I prefer the series. Okay. Okay. Más. I prefer the series. Series, series. Uh -huh. okay. Because in the next question, I will ask you what type of series do you like? Okay, this is. What type of series? Do you like okay um so yeah, I like the uh, the police or criminal series. I like the uh, like an investigation series. I like the the investigations or oh. Porque es my home, no, my home. No, it's criminal. Criminal. Mm -hmm. It can I be like, criminal. Uh -huh. I like the criminal, criminal series. series. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then and I you? can. And you? Um, okay. Maybe I can use a uh, conditional in my next uh, question. I, so. I could say. Um, <laughs> Es cierto, no me acordaba del. Ajá, va, aquí podría usar el primero como para abrir esa llave. Eh, if the series. Eh, ¿Cómo if... lo podría decir? Espérame, porque lo que quiero decir, espérame, espérame. Eh, if the series. If series. Uh -huh. If the series doesn't have to be 
Teacher, I'm confused. Why? Because I I try to say, but I, I don't I don't know if it is correct. Mm -hmm. If I say if the zebras doesn't have to be boring, is maybe I can watch them. Doesn't have to be. Doesn't have to be. Boring. Uh, uh huh. It doesn't have to be. No, it's okay. It's it's correct. No, then no tiene que ser aburrida. Uh huh. No, if the series to... doesn't have to be boring, pero, pero, I can ah, watch. Pero, 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 pero la 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 forma en la que quiere decirlo en español cómo es. Si las series no fueran aburridas, las vería. Ah, entonces ahí no. If the series are not boring. I'll watch them. Ah, okay, okay. Are not mm -hmm. boring. Okay. With, with just, just one R. Solo una R. Boring. No, ING. ING. Okay. If the series are not boring, I, I what? Uh, uh, future, it. remember, I'll watch them. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Uh huh. I watch them. Them is. Mm -hmm. See? Yes. Okay. okay. Oh, sí, so, um, sí, sí. Okay. Okay, if the series are not boring, I do what then. Si la serie no son. ¿Qué más podemos poner? You can uh, answer me like kind of mad because you really like the series and you're. Uh, of okay. like, I don't know, como decepcionada, disappointed because you, you don't, you don't realize that someone can, can really like the series. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe have a, a, an emotion. I don't know a reaction about that. I think it's in my eyes where it was very direct. Okay. okay. Just one thing. Yeah. Disappointed. Is a way to say uh, in desacuerdo. Upset ah, okay. is como decir decepcionado o decepcionado. Ah. Eso sería I upset. I'm upset. Um, I am. ¿verdad? Pero recuerden cuando cada vez de hablar cero estar utilizamos verb to be. Yeah. I'm upset. Yes. Mm. Pero, pero ahí. Eh, Tengo una pregunta. Uh -huh. Como yo siempre apareciendo ahí va. Cuando, <laughs> cuando ahí dice, eh, le hace la pregunta, what kind of, uh, uh, dice, I don't like movies at all. I prefer series, right? Ok. Uh -huh. Y le dice, what kind of series do you like? Luego la otra compañera le dice, I like criminal, se criminal series and you. Series right? and you. Ok. <laughs> Y la y le dice, if the series are not boring, I'll watch them. Si la serie okay. no está aburrida, yo la vería. Pero, ¿cuál es? ¿O sobre qué? In general. Mm. In my case, it's in general, because I don't really like the series. Ah, pero entonces hay que especificar. Mm. All, all the series. All, all, no, all no, the series. No, no, lo que pasa es que la pregunta arriba es, what kind? Cuando se pregunta, what kind? Es, ¿qué tipo de...? ¿verdad? Okay, because... entonces maybe I could ask her first and then use the conditional. For example, I don't, I don't really like the series. But because... if the series but... are boring or not boring, uh -huh. ajá, ajá, ahí sí. Porque okay, este, okay. You, este en you hace referencia a la pregunta que está antes de what kind. Ok. Entonces sería I don't like. I really don't, I, I don't really like so much the series. I don't really like serious. I don't really like serious. I don't really like serious. Yeah. Serious. Serious. But, but
Ahí está okay. bien, así como está. Y the series are not boring of what's there. Ajá, ya ahí cambia. ¿Por qué? Porque ya primero contestó la pregunta de what kind, ¿verdad? Ya usted le está diciendo okay, que sí, no sí, tiene... Que... I, I am sad because... ¿Por qué? Porque... Because, eh, porque hay series que son ganadoras. O sea, han ganado premios. Por ejemplo, The Gate of Throne es buenísima. The mm -hmm. Tudors también. Entonces, ¿cómo lo puedo poner? I am sad because the... There are some, some series that have, have won an, an award. Because... Award, award is... A... There are... Some... So many. Ah, there are some. Many awards. Awards son premios en ese tipo de... de... De eventos, los awards. Okay, yes. okay because yes. there are so many series awards, así. Series that have won, have won. Okay. Han ganado. Entonces sería, there are so many. Okay. Yeah, series... <laughs> there are so many series that, so many series that have Awards. One. one. Ah. Ahí estamos utilizando pasado participio, miren. No, sin, sin, la, sin la T. One. De ganar. Ajá. Many awards. Oh, yeah. It's about the auxiliar. Auxiliar. Ajá. Ajá. Vale. Ya les hice dos par tres partes. Vaya, me voy. Vale. <laughs> ok. Hey, 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 Okay. Okay. hey, hey, that? If. Oh, no, no. Entonces, te voy a decir, it's a miracle. If. If. I... If not si yo hubiera sabido ¿Cómo? Si, si no hubieran agregado el día If not as the day Supongo Ah, no O podríamos decir Si yo hubiera sabido Me hubiera programado En Me hubiera ido ah, hubiera, hubiéramos, Ajá, hubiéramos Hecho un party pero como lo están avisando que en, en, en tiempo no, no, no tan inmediato. Entonces, if, if we Hello, teacher. Hello. Finally, Hello, I'm in home. Uh -huh. Please remember me <laughs> what is the activity, please. Ah, you have to create a conversation. In that conversation, you have to use, um, you need to use uh, zero condition and first condition. Zero conditional and first conditional. Zero, zero conditional. Zero, zero conditional. Condition. Condition. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, very nice. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. Pero para agregar esto. As long as. Ah, this is. Para... I don't know. 
Aquí tendría que separar esto. Teacher. Yes. We are going to present it to you. Eh, van a, you're going to uh, share the presentation, not the presentation, the conversation. So you're going to talk eh, when we get back to the main session. Okay. Uh -huh. It's going to read. It's going to read. Yeah, it's almost that you're going to read. Yes. Okay. So we are going to wait. You're going to? We are going well. Yeah, what you have to do is like you have to choose for the the way if you want to share the screen, it's okay. If you don't want to share the screen, you just want to um talk and you're going to have your paper, it's okay too. Okay. los nombres a Hi Alexander, lo digo yo. Póngale mi nombre. Ok. Lo sé, Martín. No, con, con Y, con una N. Una N. Uh -huh. Ok. No, tomorrow ah. dijo, esto lo dice usted. No, tomorrow, no, eso, eso es mío también. Ay, el Sandra, entonces. Tomorrow is holiday, eso lo dice usted. Eh, donde dice tomorrow we have clocks, dice. Eh, este, no, tomorrow es. is holiday, yo. Uh -huh. Vaya, yo digo lo demás. Esta. Hasta donde está holiday. No. Is is is. También es por ti. Uh -huh. Hasta Una, donde? una, ¿Ah? una coma. Uh -huh. okay. Vaya, luego sigue usted en Jess. Esto lo dice yes, is it good? Yeah. No, el de is, pero digo yo. Será. It, así. Teacher, Enjoy. can I use a, a negative uh, with the will in the first conditional? Yes. En todos okay. los condicionales usted puede utilizar una expresión positiva o una expresión negativa. It doesn't matter. 
Okay. Okay, por ejemplo, um, si usted dice, por ejemplo, vamos. Okay, if I don't eat in the morning, por ejemplo, if I don't eat in the morning, I won't have energy in the at noon, por ejemplo. Si no desayuno, ¿verdad? Si no como en la mañana, en el mediodía no tendré energías, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué? Porque me faltó el desayuno. O sea, ya cuando llegue el almuerzo voy a llegar prácticamente clean. Es que yo quería como... Negativas. Eh, yo quería como expresar el, 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 el por qué es como no, no veo las series. Y entonces acá estaba tratando porque, o sea, yo sé cómo decirlo en inglés, pero ya tratándose del first conditional es como, ok, tengo que enfocarme en eso. Entonces, mi punto era decir, si no pensara en el episodio final, no me desesperaría tanto al verla. Ah, pero es que ese condicional ya no es first conditional. Ya, eso, ya eso pasan a ser los otros condicionales. Por eso, no sé, por eso mejor if, lo dejamos como If I didn't if I think, think about, about the that, final episode, I will, I will watch enjoy it. series. Ya, ya se sería el, perdón, el segundo condicional. Si no okay. pensara en esto, yo haría esto. Ya ese es el segundo condicional. Entonces no sirve. No, usted lo puede utilizar ahorita, no hay problema. No hay problema. Okay. Si usted, ok, porque aquí no, o sea, yo quiero que ahorita el enfoque sea primero y segundo. Ser, segundo, perdón, ah, cero, cero y primero. Y primero. Okay. Okay. Pero si usted utiliza el tercero y el segundo, no, no hay problema para mí. Ok, ok. okay. Yeah. Te toca, responde. Ok. Tal vez la disfrutaría. ¿Qué te puedo decir? Quiero ver. Responde en base a su experiencia, porque usted ve serie. Sí, tienes que, que... tienes que disfrutar capítulo por capítulo. Eso es todo. Eso sería. You. ¿Qué? Okay. Quiero ver. Tendría que disfrutar. You sure and yo. You sure. Sería, sería, you sure. Sería eso que yo, yo sure enjoy eh, episode por episode. Mm -hmm. O sea, you sure enjoy each, each episode. Each episode. Uh -huh. Bye. Eso. <ríe> Hasta ahí llegué. O no, seguimos. Okay, okay. Como usted guste. No, yo creo que está aquí. Ok. Déjame ver. Voy a guardar esto. Teacher, yo creo que ya se fue. No, still there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I told Amanda that. Uh, so just wait a minute. That she's waiting for me. Oh, she's waiting. Did you finish the class? Yeah. <laughs> ah, that's good. Awesome. Is your you really um your your real friend? 
Yeah, even if she already uh, come to the bed and, and, and she was waiting for me and it's like when I'm here, she goes to here. Awesome, that's good. Really nice. Okay. We are finished, teacher. Awesome, very good. We're going, oh my God, it's almost 10. Okay, we're going to the bathroom. <laughs> okay, we're going to the main room? Yeah, right we're now? going to the main room right now. Yes, it's almost okay. 10. Okay. Practice, practice. I mean that. <gasps> Hello, my name is Belen. Hello, my name is. Okay, very nice. We're going to um, make the practice of the conversations. Um, what about Domingo? Who do you work with? Con quien trabajo Domingo? Me teacher. Ah, Me with... teacher. Okay. With Adela, okay, perfect. Can you share your conversation or you can uh, just talk? It doesn't matter if you share the screen or if you just talk, it's okay. Okay. Excuse me. Okay.
Hi, Alexander. Tomorrow we have class. Uh, no, tomorrow is a holiday. Oh, if we don't have class tomorrow, because it's a holiday, it could be that we couldn't have any classes on Friday either, because they already create a holiday too. Yes. If there are no class tomorrow, we go to bed early. This is a good view, a good idea. I did. I saw I sat down, I go on a trip to enjoy the days off. As long as you work careful to avoid accidents, I prefer to stay at home enjoying my rest. After all, there is always something to do. Thank you. I, I will be very careful too. Okay, very nice. Okay. Awesome. This, this. okay. Very nice, very good. Okay, now um Carlos, who were you working with? I work with the Russell. Ah, with Russell. Okay, perfect. It's time for you to share the conversation. I go, I, 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 go, I go to. Okay. Okay. Uh, Independence. Okay. Hi, Rafael. How are you? Hi, Carlos. I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? I'm okay. I am reading the news right now. Really? What do you find in the news? Anything interesting you? Oh, yeah. I read news about the legislative assembly at one day more in the Independence Day. Great news, it's a miracle. <laughs> if we know so, we'll plan to go to the beach for more days. That's right. Unless they are the day, I, I will work all Friday. I know. If the Le Legislative Assembly did the news with anticipation, uh, we'll go to the beach starting on Thursday 18. <laughs> That's all. Okay, it's very nice. It's you the topic were, of the day, teacher. You, you were so creative. You were so creative. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very nice. <laughs> okay. Eso no podía faltar, ¿verdad? Lo, lo del decreto no, no podía faltar. <laughs> okay, very nice. Uh, Creo que me falta Yvette con Leticia, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. Uh, Leticia, ¿estás you here? Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Um, hello, Yvette. And uh, how are you? Uh, I'm fine, but a little stressed with the job. Mm -hmm. Why? And um, <laughs> the internet, the Leticia's internet is. Uh, Ah, it's a slow. It's slow, it's a slow. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, if uh, somebody can help me to read. Okay. Uh, Domingo, can you help uh, Yvette? <laughs> You're going to be Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, Miranda. <laughs> Why? <laughs> What happened? You are mirando. <laughs> With this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Uh, why? What happened? Why the cells? If I don't read the same target, I Our won't teacher. get the bonus. Okay, Leticia is here, I think. Leti, are you here? Leti, are you here? I lost her. <laughs> okay, very nice. Okay, Domingo, vamos siempre con la última parte de Miranda. Siga <laughs> mirando. <laughs> okay. Okay. Really, I'm sorry for you, but is this weekend more people visit the store? You will sell more because tomorrow is the pay, pay day. Or pay day. <laughs> yes, pay day. and Friday. And yes, on Friday is day off too. Okay, very nice, excellent. Very we good. try, teacher, we try. <laughs> okay, thank you. Try it, try it. Thank you. Problemas con el internet, teacher. Yeah, Leti, okay, Leti, yes, don't worry, relax. Okay. Vamos ahora con uh, Aminda y Belén, ¿verdad? Creo que es el último grupo que me queda, la última pareja. Okay, I try to share the screen. Okay. So, you can read the, the, the conversation. You can see the conversation. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Belen, do you start? Yep. Hello, my name is Belen. Hello, my name is Aminda. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What kind of movies do you like? I don't like the movies. I prefer the series. Okay, and what kind of series do you like? I like the criminal series. And you? I don't really like the series, but if the series are not boring, I'll watch them. I'm upset because there are so many series that have won many awards, for example, The Game of Thrones and The Tudors. Yes, maybe those series uh, was a awesome, but I don't think about, if I don't think about the last episode, I will enjoy it. You sure enjoy each episode. And that's all, teacher. Okay, very nice. You didn't say bye-bye, take care, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> okay. He hates me because I don't like the series. Yeah, okay, you were upset, you were mad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Take to the conversation, that's all. Okay. Here's the end. Okay, usted le dijo, talk with my hand and I'm gonna leave, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very nice. Okay, good. Okay, okay, students. Um, These uh, models are really important. Estos modales son muy importantes porque nosotros en español los utilizamos también, ¿verdad? Con la diferencia que en inglés pues tienen el término como modales, right? Entonces, eh, estos dos sirven para hablar. El zero para hablar de presente. El first para hablar de future, que no se los olviden. Y en el zero llevamos presente simple, presente simple. En el first conditional, presente simple y el future, ¿verdad? Con will o con going to, cualquiera de los dos. Entonces, eso es algo que no se me debe olvidar para que podamos manejar bien lo que son los conditionals. Porque eh, a medida vayamos, ¿verdad? Después les voy a enseñar el, el second conditional. Que ese es ya para hablar de algo que yo quisiera que fuera diferente, pero no, no, no lo es. Es lo contrario de lo que estoy diciendo, ¿verdad? Y tendríamos un cuarto, el tercero, perdón, condicional que pasa a ser el cuarto en la lista que me sirve para hablar de algo que yo desearía que, o que sería diferente si uno hubiera hecho esto de esta manera. Ok, entonces ya eso va como, como quien dice, si yo hubiera sabido que ser adulto no era fácil, yo sería niño. <risa> todos, todos, todos queríamos ser adultos cuando estábamos niños, ¿verdad? Y yo al revés, todos quisiéramos ser niños. <risa> Very nice, okay. Vamos a take the attendance list, ¿verdad? Uh, as soon as you listen your name, please tell me present. Ah, mañana no hay clases. Mañana no hay clases, mañana no hay clases. Okay, 
<risa> en Friday, teacher. Ah, ok. Todas no, lo preguntaron Ajá, indirectamente. Okay. En Friday. <risa> y usted diga, no es que esté interesada en que no haya, sino simplemente curiosidades. Okay. En sus conversaciones se los preguntaron, teacher. Indirectamente no, iba abajo de Sí, no, pues sí, pues sí. Yo por eso dije, no se puede olvidar el Friday. <risa> ok, hasta el momento, como es un decreto que pues no, no esperábamos, creo que ni ustedes esperaban ese decreto. Eh, mm. Y de repente, pum, salió, ¿verdad? Ok, entonces eh, tenemos que esperar hasta que Insafor notifique. Si Insafor, porque esto, estos programas van regidos con un, un horario un programa cronológico dentro de Insafor. O sea, Pero como hay dice gubernamentales y toda la cuestión, pues no. Ajá. <risa> ok, yeah. lo, que, lo que pasa es que... Really had it off. Ok, Insafor, Insafor eh, le da lo que es eh, inglés corporativo a las participaciones, pero ya hay inglés corporativo en la invitación privada. Pero... <risa> necesitamos que Insafor... Eh, Diga, eh, sí tienen eh, la Independence Days ¿verdad? también. Entonces, ahí sí le damos luz verde. Porque eso está, no, no está en nosotros, sino que en administration, ¿verdad? Y ellos nos van Eche. a notificar. Ajá. Pero me anticipo, yo el viernes igual no podía entrar. Así es que se me, acaba, me va a forecer. <risa> <risa> o sea, ya estaba matando mi chucho tiempo, por decirlo así. Ya, es que ya Rosibel dice que de, de, de hoy va para la playa, dice, de hoy en la noche. The, the killing the dog on time. <risa> yeah, killing the dog on time, yes. Yeah. You are telling the scenes before you do this. <risa> no, pero ya le aviso que si hay, el viernes no voy a poder. Allá, miren, allá en una lancha, ahí en la lancha, cuando está ahí en clase, aquí. No y... puedo. Ok, <ríe> okay very nice. Entonces, um, me imagino que más tardar el viernes en la mañana que hayan recibido notificación de Insafor, les van a decir si hay o no hay, ¿verdad? Así que hay que estar pendientes, ¿verdad? Yo me, yo me iba a ir para la playa también, ¿verdad? <ríe> Soñando. <ríe> Bueno, yo aquí en Venecia, porque aquí cuando llueve, aquí ya no ocupo playa. <risa> ok, entonces, eh, así que hay que estar pendientes yeah. de eso, porque si les dicen en la mañana, tienen libre, pues, se van a tomar ¿verdad? las vacaciones. Sí, va a ser sábado corrido desde ayer. Mañana. <risa> Vamos a esperar a ver qué tal. <risa> Vamos a ver. Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Ok. Aminda René Figueroa de Manzano. Present. Ok. Belén Batre García. Present, teacher. Ok. Carlos William Membreño Núñez. Present. Very nice. Debbie Yasmín Girón Ramírez. Domingo Alexander González. Present. Ok. Uh, Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Present teacher. Ok. Ah, Leti, Leti, ¿se puede quedar conmigo unos minutos después de que termine la clase? Ok. Ok, teacher. Ok. Oscar Anulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Ok. Rosibel del Carmen López. Present teacher. Ok. Salvador Augusto Soto Rivas. Sonia Ivette Alvarenga. Present. Ok. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemus. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Wendy Karina Morales Amaya. Ok, students. Uh, see, you, well, see you tomorrow. See you, uh, I don't know when, <laughs> but see you later, Monday, ok? Monday. Mi Monday. Mi Monday. Mi Monday. Mi Monday. Mi Monday. I don't know when. Maybe on Friday or maybe on Monday. <laughs> Good night, sweet dreams. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, Bye -bye. watch out. Let's go to the parade. Vayan al desfile, right? Porque por eso es la vacation. Nah, ha, ha. <laughs> okay, okay, bye. Okay, bye. Ok, Leti. Um, bueno, ¿usted se quedó conmigo en la clase de ayer? Sí, teacher.
Ajá. Yes. ¿Usted se quedó conmigo en la clase de ayer? No, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes. ¿Cómo no? Ah, ok. Ah, pues entonces que yo me confundí. Pensé que no, wow. la, no la había dejado. Ok, very nice, pero um, no sé si de la clase de hoy le queda alguna duda. Hello. No sé si tiene alguna duda sobre la clase, la clase de hoy. Pues, ah, uh, no, hola, teacher, estaba en el Everything is clear like water. Hello. Leti. Claro. ¿Todo le quedó clarito en la clase de hoy? Sí. 